The discovery of America brought about monumental changes to the course of world history. But who arrived here first is a question that many cultures lay claim to. A Chinese admiral in 1421, an African king in 1324, or perhaps even a Welsh prince in the year 1170. But was North America stumbled upon even earlier? And who are the people that tried to prove this theory and unearth the legendary lost metropolis? Since the Middle Ages, Viking sagas have been passed down from generation to generation. Men around campfires would speak of great battles, notorious heroes, and voyages to distant lands. These stories still remain an important part of Scandinavian folklore. The sagas reveal details of an expansive area called Vinland and a city of great wealth known as Norumbega. It was said to have a winding river and rolling meadows filled with grapevines. But it wasn't until the 1880s when Harvard professor and wealthy inventor Eben Horsford would first hear of the legendary lost city. While attending a lecture in Boston given by Rasmus Anderson, who was on a mission to popularize the Vinland sagas, Horsford would learn about the daring Viking explorer, Leif Erikson, who sailed from Norway across the Atlantic, arriving in North America around the year 1000. Horsford was enamored with the idea that Vikings arrived in New England first and began researching the stories. He was determined to find the mythical settlement. With the help of maps from early explorers, he speculated that the location was none other than Boston, Massachusetts. In 1887, after financing his own team of archaeologists, Horsford began digging along the Charles River in Cambridge. At the site, Horsford found what he assumed was Viking smelted metal and he even jumped to the conclusion that Leif Erikson's ancient roundhouse was right down the street from his own home. Despite any solid evidence, he began to popularize the legend by writing several books. He would erect a statue of Leif Erikson in Boston, and he even built a tower in Western Massachusetts, all the while declaring it to be the exact spot of Norumbega. But before Horsford could complete his research on the lost Viking city, he passed away. His theories would fade into obscurity until 1960, when interest was renewed. Norwegian explorers Helga and Anne Ingstad began searching for the unknown location of Vinland. Using the Skalholt map from 1570 and leveraging the research of several scholars like Anderson and Horsford, they were able to make a landmark discovery. After a local fisherman showed them the remains of turf huts in Newfoundland, they were able to pinpoint the exact location of a settlement and prove that Vikings had traveled to North America around the year 1000. Vinland was a myth no more. But what about the legend of Norumbega? Some say Norumbega was much like El Dorado, a mystical city of vast riches that enticed early explorers and researchers like Professor Horsford. Maybe Norumbega is just a myth, or maybe it still waits to be discovered.